guys, I'm going to teach you how to work with paths, okay? Now this is something that might can get a little annoying sometimes, but you know, I'm going to work you through this. We will get through this together, guys, okay? Okay, so first off, you want to go to your path option, which is right there on your left side in your menu. And you're going to, you can click either coup path or irregular path. Now your regular path is for common everyday walking within your path. Let's start at the, the, the park gate right here, okay? It's the poor park inspector. Let's give the park inspector a path here, okay? You know what, let's go out and make a full out, um, let's go ahead and make a entrance. Actually, you know what, no, I'll do that in the next tutorial. Um, but, yeah. Basically, you click where you want your path to go. You use the left mouse click button, not too hard. Let's use something a little bit nicer than that, though. I usually always use a stone path. I do not know why. You can also, if you're, like, lazy like me, you can also just use this right here, okay? You can click this one for no slope. You see where it says right there in that little area, no slope? Or you can raise it up kind of like a wheelchair ramp or whatever or you can make it stairs to make it go up but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to use no slope now this is that that's a little slower to use unless you're just you know but like yeah this is a little faster to use normally I'm going to put trees in the middle there but you see I'll just continue that later um, to delete you can right click with your mouse or you can press you can just click on the path and press this delete button right here so what I think that that about what I think that button does is if you have a hill and you use that button on this will make it like flat and it can like go underneath it like a tunnel sort of in a way see there so yeah you can like go in there under like a tunnel but I mean I find it pretty pointless because why would you really want to use that but I don't know that's your that's your own decision but yeah I'm going to delete all that because I really don't need that <sighs> let's make all of that flat again I'll use terrain work in another video tutorial later also like I said in a previous video on how to raise and lower stuff you can if you want to go ahead and automate okay that's good I don't care um, you can automatically raise or lower a path by using the left shift or right shift button. That's really basically all there is to it, man. You turn straight or whatever, I don't care. This is just, that's all you do. Now, and just in case you don't know what a coup path is, if you have a ride, like say I have over here, my little really kind of pathetic kitty coaster. It was just kind of a tutorial on how to make a coaster look good to lead up to that. But um, you see this line right here? This is a coup line. You choose, you can't choose from here because people will not wait in line if you use one of these. But if you use a coup path, people wait in line. Well, usually a, your line doesn't even ever have to even be this long unless you only have like one ride. Well, I don't know. <laughs> It can only, usually all you need is like about this much right here. Like, I'd say if you were to open up a new ride, I'd just use about this much as necessary. But if you want to make it realistic, which is what I love to do, make it realistic. But you know, this is how much peaks we usually occupy in a line space. Um. So if you use a coup line path, this is what peeps use to wait in line. You do not need to use it for an exit because that would be completely pointless. So this is the exit for the ride right here. Use a regular path for that. And you connect and you connect the you connect the queue line path to the entrance of your ride, and that's how people can get to your ride. Well that just about sums up that tutorial for this lesson. Um leave any questions in the comments below. So I can answer some questions. I mean, it's not like many people play this game anymore. It's pretty old. I'm pretty sure people are going to start wanting theme park studio tutorials. But I've never played that before. And I don't even know if I'm actually going to get it. Because I know so much about this game. But, you know, what ifs? Peace.